So this week on Shop Talk Tuesday, why not to leave open packets of glitter powder on your bork bench? Absolutely covered. And my floor did not fare much better. The camera is only actually showing about 30% of what's actually there. It's everywhere. So that was a big oops. My, I left those packets out because I didn't have anything to put them down inside. I, I should have gotten like some little makeup containers, you know, is what I was thinking about getting. And I was looking around, seeing if I could find some. So I left those sitting on my counter overnight. And my son, being a good kid, went out there to do the garbages and... Uh, bumped a ruler that I had sitting just on the bench, but I guess it was hanging off just slightly. His fleece jacket caught it, and it knocked one of the, the powders off of the counter. It then hit the floor, and like a freaking glitter grenade just went boom everywhere. And he came in from the shop, and I'm like, buddy, why are you covered in glitter? He's like, oh, I just bumped your counter. And I was like, no, no, you did not just bump my counter. What happened? And so, um... Instead of going out there right away, uh, we let that dust settle overnight because <laughs> it was airborne. He got it all up his shirt, face. He was beautiful, actually. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I went out there today and found that it was just everywhere. And it had settled and it was like snowfall in beautiful green-blue fashion. <clears throat> so I uh, got that all cleaned up as best as I could with some denatured alcohol and some blue shop towels. But... Uh, uh, it, everything is still pretty well covered, so it's going to take some more cleaning, a little more time, and I think I'm just going to have to replace that green mat because it's never going to be the same again. I think it's having an identity crisis now. It's going through some depression, and we're just going to put it out of its misery. <laughs> It's, it's entertaining. But the test blanks are going good. Um, I've got them all drilled and glued and tubes put in and then I've got them all trued up and corners knocked down on them so I just need to get them turned on the lathe. Let me just go ahead and show you how they're turning out. Alright so first up is blue green gold. You guys can see now with the tubes inside and the interior painted the colors are showing up a lot more vibrant now. Here, this one is red, violet, blue, and again with that tube inside painted black, you can see actually the, the channel that it is down in, but those colors are so much more vibrant than they were before. This is the yellow, green, red. This is actually one of the rejects, um, but I want to just kind of see what it was going to end up looking like once it's turned. I, just, I don't think it's going to look great. You can see right there where it's kind of thin. Um, just the black is showing through. The color actually isn't showing up all too well. So I still think that's going to be a good one. It's still going to be in the reject pile, but we'll see how it goes. But this one I'm excited for. Painted the interior black. This is the, uh, oh, what is it? Blue, green, gold V2. And those colors look so much cooler with the interior painted black. You can see that black channel going right down the middle. And uh, it's going to be... These are going to be pretty awesome. I'm really excited to see how they turn out. Uh, this one is purple, blue, green. And really cool colors on that one as well. Let me get you a side profile, actually. Looks really neat. Really happy with that one. That one's not nearly as exciting as this uh, red, purple, blue V2. This one I've already got a customer for. Uh, I've got one person that wants to see this one done up with some glitter. Uh, with some um, hollow flakes. They want to see it with some hollow flakes and turn this one into a galaxy pen. So we're going to try that one out in a galaxy pen because it's got some really cool color transitions. It goes violet there and then uh, turns blue and and red. And it's, it's a really cool blank. I'm really excited for that one. This one is blue, purple, yellow, green. This one I was kind of iffy about. You know, It's got this weird red hue, but that kind of went away actually. Um, once I, I painted the interior black, kind of what I was thinking was going to happen, and now you can't hardly see the red hue. The um, gold actually shows up a lot more. Not the gold, but the yellow. The yellow and green shows up a lot more, but the blue and purple, it still doesn't quite transition to, but the yellow and green show up a lot in this blank. Really happy about how this one's turned out. This one's the blue-green, and this one has awesome color transitions. Looking forward to seeing that one done up on the Aurora Borealis blanks. This one, red gold, uh, this is the one that I was thinking about doing for the sun. 
and uh, it's got really cool transitions. The red shows up a lot more than I've painted it black um, than it did before, and it's still got that perfect yellow transition when you hit it at an off angle. So let me see if I can get that here. Perfect yellow, and then there's the red. So but that one's going to be a cool one. And then this green blue that had the red background, painting it black makes the green and blue show up better. Before the blue was looking a lot more violet, um, but now that I've painted it black, it actually transitions true blue and, and not you know an off blue violet color. So um, I'm actually going to turn this one up because I want to see how well it turns out. Um, I think it's going to be a lot better once it's turned because you can still see, if you look at the corners, you can still see that amberish color, um, but the blue-green actually transitions blue now, not violet, and then uh, the green still looks pretty good. And the one that my son dropped was this blue-green transitional chameleon pigment. That's the one that hit the floor and just covered everything in just glorious blue-green, uh, beautiful snowflakes just everywhere in the, in the casting shop. So, but uh, get that cleaned up and we'll get that going. It's kind of it, it's comical now that we've laughed about it. But at first it was like you did what? Oh no! <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. Uh, years ago, I actually vowed it's like I will never work with glitter. I don't want to work with glitter. Uh, you know, and uh, Dimitri Martin used to actually say glitter is the herpes of the art world. Once you get it on you, you'll never get it off again, and, and it's very true. Um, but now that I've worked with glitter on pen blanks, uh, I actually like the stuff. It's it does some really neat effects. It does some cool things. You can manipulate it in ways that uh, you can't with just you know normal pigments, and so. I'll continue working with it because I like the stuff. It's it's fun to work with, and uh, we'll just keep trudging forward. Just sometimes you have to deal with a mess. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if you guys saw the update, but I've got the new tail stock on the lathe. Haven't gotten a chance to turn with it yet and see if it's going to be everything that I'm absolutely open for. But that up down problem that I was having, where I, it was 0.8 millimeters lower than the headstock has been fixed they now line up and they're beautiful and it's glorious and i'm so excited to use it thanks again rykon for fixing that up for me because it is going to be so much better um got some drilling to do with it this week and then i've also got some um turning to do obviously i've got these 10 sierra blanks to turn around and so i'm going to be able to do plenty of testing to make sure the new tail stock is going to work out uh gloriously and i have a feeling that it is because just already being able to line up the uh, centers side to side and up down, it's got to be a better improvement than, than where I was at having that 0.8 millimeters too far down. So we're going to get that fully tested, make sure it's good to go, and then I'll write back to the service guys, send them a big thank you, and, uh, and we'll get that going. That's about it this week. Haven't had a whole lot of time to get out here in the shop. Usually I have Mondays off. This week I had Tuesday, Wednesday. So usually I'm able to update you on this, all the stuff that I did on Monday on Tuesday. But instead I had the day off. And so I'm going to be doing most of my work today, getting stuff done. And then uh, I'm going to spend all Wednesday. And so on next Shop Talk Tuesday, I'll give you guys more of an update of what we've got going on out in the shop. Because I'll have both Wednesday and hopefully Monday of next week, so long as I don't get called into work. Uh, in order to uh, get stuff done out here in the shop. And also I've got a whole bunch of orders coming in this week. I've got a whole bunch of woods and stuff that I ordered and picked up. So I'll show you that on uh, the next week's video. Oh, and the Editor G2 pen is live. Check it out in the description below. I'll throw it down there. I'll probably also throw a card up here in the corner. Uh, so you guys can check that one out. So you can now can go on and see how to do an Editor G2 conversion. Um, and you can also do like the Frixion, the Pilot V5RT. You can do it in Rollerball. All you gotta do, change the length of that uh, that tube, the barrel that you glue in, and that will give you uh, different effects. So you just have to find the ink that you want, put it down in there, measure it, and it's good to go. So I've got another video that I'll do out um, here in the, the future. Uh, the video that I'm going to be working on for this week is actually going to be one of the bottle stoppers that I did, the Cosmic uh, bottle stoppers that I did a while back and I'll, I'll throw a picture of the one I'm going to do up here. Uh, so that's going to be the one that's going to be coming out uh, this next week. That way you guys can see the blanks that I'm selling on my Etsy store. Um, 
what they're going to look like once they're turned because in block form, you know, they, they're cool looking and all, um, but you can't exactly see what they're going to turn out like. So I wanted to get a video out so you guys can actually see what these things are going to turn out like, how cool they actually are, um, so that you can make a better decision on whether or not you want to pick some up from me, which I certainly hope that you do. Alright, thanks so much for joining me out in the shop this week. Uh, Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out. Be sure to subscribe. Throw a subscribe link right here on the bottom. Check out some of my other videos up here on the sides. Thanks so much for joining me out here. Happy crafting.